When one built the house, his son added the dome. His son spread the wings and dammed the river. Wonderful will to live, isn't he? Would you put it like that? I'd say a great fear of death. Is there a difference? Oh, dear me, yes. He doesn't derive any strength from his fear. It's wearing him out. Goodbye, Mr. Ryder. Goodbye, Doctor. I'll call in tomorrow morning. Mm. Protected myself from the cold winds. Eaten moderately of what was in season. Drunk fine claret. Slept in my own sheets. I shall live long. When I was 50, they dismounted us and sent us up the line. Old men stay at the base, the orders said, but all the venables, my commanding officer, my nearest neighbor, he said. You're as fit as the youngest of them, Alex. So I was. So I am now. If I could, I could breathe. Sit in the open air, breathe more freely. When the wind comes down the valley and the man can turn to meet it, fill himself with air like a beast of water. God take it, wife, they dug this hole for me. Mr. Man. Stifled to death in his own cellar. Prenda, Gaston, oh, open the windows. The windows are all wide open, my lord. It, 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 it's empty. Look, nurse, as nothing comes out. No, Lord Marchmain, it's quite full. You can tell from this dial here. It's at full pressure. Listen, can't you hear it hiss? Mm. Now. Try and breathe slowly, Lord Marchmain, quite gently. Then you'll get the benefit. There. Free as air. That's what they say. Free. Now they bring me my air in an iron barrel. I was free once. I committed a crime in the name of freedom. Cordelia. What became of the chapel? They locked it up, Papa, when Mummy died. It was her. 
I built it for her. There was a chaplain here until the war. You remember him? I was too young. Then I went away. I left her praying in the chapel. It was hers. It was the place for her. I never came back to disturb her prayers. They said we were fighting for freedom. I had my victory. Is that a crime? I think it was, Papa. Thus Lord Marchmain lay dying, wearing himself down in the struggle to live. Since there was no reason to expect an immediate change, Cordelia went to London to see her women's organisation about the coming emergency. That day, when Julia and I were alone with Cara, he became suddenly worse. It's difficult to say. When he does die, it'll probably be like this. He may recover from the present attack. The only thing is not to disturb him. The least shock will be fatal. I'm going to telephone Father Mackay. My business is with the body. It's not my business to argue whether people are better alive or dead or what happens to them after death. I only try to keep them alive. And you said just now that the least shock would kill him. What could be worse for a man who fears death as he does than to have a priest brought to him? A priest he turned out when he had the strength. I think it may kill him then you will forbid it. I have no authority to forbid anything. I can only give an opinion. Doctor. Excuse me. Cara, what do you think? I don't want him made unhappy. That is all there is to hope for now, that he'll die without knowing it. But I should like the priest there all the same. But will you try and persuade Julia to keep him away until the end? Then he can do no harm. I will ask her to leave Alex happy. Yes. 